Hey yo, so Valve did a thing, a thing he says, a thing indeed, and it's a positive thing that I said they should do like a year ago, but I guess better late than never. So, via the private Steamworks group, that's a developer group over on Steam, Valve has announced that they're making some changes to how achievements work in games and how you can get them once you publish your game onto the storefront. This announcement is aimed to combat the amount of fake games and achievement spamming games that pop up onto Steam, as we've seen a crazy amount of those over the past year or so. These are games that are made solely for the idea that people can buy them and idle them in the background or barely play them and get thousands upon thousands of Steam achievements. You might be thinking to yourself, who cares about Steam achievements? They don't do anything, so why do I care if people are playing those? Well, the reason is because these games were very often tied to asset flips, or they were asset flips, or they had no actual gameplay value to them, and they were quite honestly just taking up space on the storefront. These were games where you could just turn them on, they didn't really do anything, but you got thousands of achievements. They weren't made to be proper video games. So they're sitting on the storefront, and they're taking up valuable space from proper indie developers that are trying to make a living selling their products. So getting rid of them, or limiting their viability on the platform, is a very good step forward. In the update, Valve said that some time ago we posted about fake games and how they led us to make a change to Steam trading cards. In that post, we described why we chose to remove access to trading cards for games until it became clear that users were actually buying and playing them. Since then, we've seen fake games move to exploiting other Steam systems, so we've decided to make a couple more tweaks to address them. Piggybacking onto the trading card system, games that haven't reached the same confidence metric will now have these additional constraints. A limit of 100 achievements. Their achievements won't contribute to the global achievement count and cannot be shown in the Steam Profiles Achievement Showcase. They won't contribute to an account's game library count and cannot be shown in a Steam Profiles Game Collector Showcase. In addition, they won't be eligible for coupons. As you can guess, fake games were inflating achievement and game count for users to display on their profiles. Our data shows that an insignificant number of users were taking advantage of this, but the existence of these fake games still confuses our algorithms and users. For those who still want to buy products for the purpose of increasing their gamer achievement counts, we now show whether or not a game is under these constraints on the store page. We don't believe these constraints will negatively impact real games in any way, and the removal of fake games should improve the store experience for everyone. Yeah, so Valve actually doing things, even if it is pretty late on the ball. They're, it's still good to see. This is after they also announced a few weeks ago that they were going to be taking down games that were obvious troll games or doing illegal stuff on the storefront, and more or less confirming what we already knew they were trying to do, but on the heels of their announcement saying that every game is allowed on Steam so long as it's legal and not extremely obvious trolling or abuse of the system, they also took away some developers and publishers that were making obvious troll games and they seemed to actually do something to try to make a statement. Now I've got no idea if this is also connected to that and they're trying to do their best to actually improve the storefront as a whole in the heels of that announcement, but it's good to see them doing multiple steps in a short period to try to disassociate themselves from these really cruddy fake titles on the storefront. Achievement spamming games were clogging up the Steam store, we saw it for months, maybe even a year at this point, and they really didn't have a place there. I don't care if you like hunting for achievements, that's totally fine. You do you. The problem was that these games weren't designed to be played like a video game, and they're not what the Steam storefront is intended for. If you want to hunt for games, at least buy someone's real game and get their achievements and actually play the game. I'd much rather have real indie games that have some achievements in them that people can actually buy and get, and then people can see them on the new release list, because it's not clogged up by a bunch of achievement games, than having just hordes of crap that has like 6,000 achievements apiece. So I think overall this is a good and positive update that's going to mitigate some of the crap that we see on Steam. It's going to make my job harder though, because there will be less games for me to cover that are absolute crap. But hey, I guess I should be happy about that, right? So my question now is, what is the next thing we're going to see these developers, quote unquote, start abusing on the Steam storefront? And I've got an idea about that one. Regarding Valve's other announcement where they talked about pretty much every game being allowed on the storefront, including adult-oriented games, I'm predicting that in the next couple months here, we're gonna see a huge influx in adult content video games designed to get people who will just buy any game that has any type of adult content in it 
just so they can play through it and see it. Now, I want to make it very clear that I have no problem with adult content in games. I just expect them to be, you know, good and original like I do with any video game. And the influx of abuse in the system that I'm talking about is in regards to visual novels that are blatantly anime characters taken from DeviantArt and across the internet without permission and slapped together into like a five minute storyline. Or Unity games where they go and find a naked model that goes into the Unity engine and just plop it into their game and call it a day. Pretty much all the same stuff we've been seeing already except with boobs instead of achievements. Gonna have to dust off the old Pornhub account I think. You know fun fact the last time I uploaded one of my videos to Pornhub so you can see the uncensored nipple in Space Explorers because I thought they were hilarious. Pornhub decided to make that video only viewable in the US for some reason. So apparently these games and my content are too racy for porn websites and I think that's hilarious. I'm just